right, first, though, there is a fear now growing among local domestic violence victims who depend on women's shelters for safety. Uh, those facilities, they're worried about possible funding cuts by President Trump. Our Carlos Diaz is here now with what they're facing, and, you know, this is not what they had hoped to hear. Exactly. I mean, these are the places where victims feel safe as they try to get away from dangerous situations with domestic violence, places like Coburn place safe haven, but now the concern is over possible funding cuts that could cut some much needed services. Colburn Place executive director is following these reports. The Trump budget could eliminate 25 grant programs managed by the Federal Office of Violence Against Women. At Colburn Place, that could amount to $300,000 a year lost, a third of their staff budget. Casey, who is a pregnant single mom, has known violence at the hands of several different boyfriends. She also knows domestic violence programs need more money, not less. I've been through a lot of abusive relationships. It's unnerving you know, to take this machete approach and just completely eliminate the Violence Against Women Act. All of those positive things that have happened over the past 22 years would be gone. And the impact would be that, you know, law enforcement officers now, the budget numbers are not final. Places like Colburn Place hope there's room for negotiation and hope that with public education they can get the public behind restoring that money for these kinds of programs, guys. Well, they've made so much progress in getting that funding and now it's kind of a step back, I'm sure yeah, it feels and, like and, to them. And when you meet these families that need it, that, mm -hmm. that brings that much further home. Mm -hmm. All right, Carlos Diaz, thank you so mm -hmm. much, sir. We appreciate it. Well, growing